Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Adonis Stevenson versus Badu Jack, the realest breakdown. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang. Gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Donna Stevenson versus Badu Jack just fought last Saturday. It was a good fight. I was in Vegas. I watched the fight. I watched that and the Gary Russell Jr. fight. Shout out and big up to Showtime Boxing. They were both good fights. And I wanted to give you guys the real breakdown. I did a, a quick live stream, but I was out in Vegas. You know how that goes. And I wasn't able to do a proper um, insightful breakdown. So I wanted to give you guys that. A lot of people asking me my thoughts on the fight. Thought it was a good fight. I thought it was a meaningful fight for the division. Kind of felt bad for Badu Jack at the end because he seems to have these close fights and always get a draw. And the thing about it, it wouldn't be bad like the James DeGale and Jack fight. If they both had their own titles and it's a unification because you keep your belt he keeps his but he was trying to get the belt from adonis stevenson and if it's a draw that means the champion retains their title now without further ado let's get into the realist breakdown and these were some of the tweets and i'm just gonna freestyle this one and give you some thoughts I said Badu Jack needs to do something and get something mounted offensively. Problem is to get more offense requires more risk and Jack needs to be cool these early rounds and watch out for that powerful ass left. So Badu Jack needs to find a way to be cautious without being overly cautious. Now the funny thing is I said this either before round one or during round one. You guys can see the timestamps and this kind of early statement that I wrote kind of set a trend because this was a very close fight and I was telling you you have to stay cautious Adonis Stevenson especially when he's fresh and early you have to watch out for that power that left hand is is pure warm butter he will melt you with that you know what I mean and it looked like Jack was he had his, his glove up covering his temple and he was trying to stay safe but maybe to a fault seeing how close his fight was and how well he did on the back half this may have hurt him by being kind of timid and cautious i said adonis can box a lot better than he's given credit did a beautiful punch sidestep move in round three need more examples of this to watch adonis stevenson versus divorce cloud i thought he boxed well um, another comment, I said, Stevenson got that left hand cocked. He knows he got NyQuil in there. Hashtag scary. So I, I've seen that early on. Adonis Stevenson, very comfortable. Comfortable with that left hand. He knows his power in there. Badu Jack looking to set up his attack, create real estate. Right? This is in the early rounds I tweeted this. And it is so funny because a lot of this stuff played out. Badu Jack is a worker. Adonis Stevenson is winning, but can't get complacent. Needs to try to hurt or discourage Badu Jack because Jack has showed he's a diligent worker like with these performances where he looks much better in the second half, i.e. the James DeGale fight plus fatigue sets in. And this was, again, These look at the times, man. These are the times. I'm saying this before all of this happened. And it's funny because I feel like I got this one pretty right when it comes to this fight. Badu Jack, I don't know what it is, but he seems to warm up and get better in the second half of these fights. I said, I like Badu's jab to the body. Very Floyd Mayweather-esque. Floyd probably told him to shoot that. Dangerous against a southpaw. There is a risk there to try to get in and get out without getting clipped by Adonis. But it could pay off late against a 40-year-old Adonis Stevenson. I said Badu Jack is smart to smother Donna Stevenson's punches since Stevenson has some long ass monkey ass arms. He needs range to get that space to land the left the way he wants to. Yeah, Donna Stevenson has really long arms. So if you crowd him and get on the inside, that could create issue. Kind of like Kovalev versus Ward. Ward was smart in um, trying to get to the inside, raking Kovalev's body. Kovalev has some pretty long arms and light heavyweight, so he needs that extension on it. I like Adonis shooting the uppercut throughout the fight. I thought that was a um, good. He didn't land all of them, but I, I liked uh, the attempt. Jack played the game. 
Now he needs to take a stand to create his big moments to win rounds and ultimately win the fight. I said this around four or five. And what I mean by play the game is he stayed cautious, didn't get hurt or dropped or anything, uh, stayed mindful of that left hand. And now that that's done, he has to mount that offense and, and get the offensive game really going, which is what he did. I said both came out swinging. Jack might be hurt to the body, elbows real tight in round six. Round six was the best action so far on Stevenson Jack. And this was just about the Gary Russell beating Joseph Jojo Diaz. I said, damn, I just thought about a Golden Boy Fighters recent losses. Lemieux schooled up Billy Joe Saunders. He got schooled up by Billy Joe. Canelo fight got canceled with the Clumbuterol scandal. Saddam Ali lost to Jaime Munguia, Ryan Garcia, KO streak ended, and Joseph Jojo Diaz, respectable performance, but no longer defeated, and another Golden Boy fighter, Jorge Linares, lost to Lomachenko in another good fight. Jack caught Stevenson standing straight up in round seven. Yeah, it was around this round where I feel like Stevenson started looking real sloppy. Adonis started taking a lot of clean shots in round seven. He didn't like Stevenson's body. I said I didn't like Stevenson's body language when he was getting stung. Seems more wilted and tired. And that was in round seven. And you heard the sense of urgency from his team. Stevenson's corner told him, you need to tighten up and tie that motherfucker up. So that sense of urgency, they seen their fighter, his body language wasn't looking good. So kind of the same thing that I seen. Adonis milked the low blow. He got a timeout. He says he got hit low. Uh, Badu Jack kind of contested it post-fight and said it was his cup that was really high. And you're allowed up to five minutes. And it looked like Adonis Stevenson was kind of tired. So veteran trick. You know what I mean? Smart trick. You get a low blow and you find a way and, and you're going to milk it. You know what I mean? To give yourself a breather. Stevenson looked tired. Body language looks terrible. He looks slumped over. Yeah, it looked like his, his body language, he, he was looking... It was looking crazy to me. Badu Jack getting momentum. Stevenson looking like a five-round fighter. Seems extremely tired to me. Breathing hard. Lethargic posture. Taking long, low blow breaks. Seems happy in the clinch to gain time. These are not good signs. And for the rest of the fight, the back half of the fight, the second half of the fight, that's what I've seen from Stevenson. I mean, don't get it twisted. He did have another good round in there. But overall, I'm talking about totality. In a lot of the rounds, he just didn't look the same as the first three, four rounds. Jack's fundamentals showing up now. Stevenson relies more on athleticism and power, not as much technique. Even though I said he was a, a, a good boxer, a better boxer than people give him credit for, he relies a lot on his, heavily on his power and his athleticism. So as that starts to fade and the, flight, the fight is going to slip away from Stevenson. And that's what we've seen because Badu Jack, he's just he's a worker. He's in very workmanlike performances and fundamentally sound things that he's doing right. Stevenson relies on different things. So as anybody gets tired, your body is going to show the the results of that. And you've seen Adonis's body language started looking not good, start getting hit cleaner because he's not um, a fighter really renowned for his defense, stuff like that. Jack might have some kryptonite for Superman Stevenson. So the fight started getting good. Stevenson looks discouraged in that corner. Uh oh. Yeah, I just didn't see when I was when they panned the camera at Stevenson. His face looked distraught. I think he had a nosebleed in the back half of the fight, and it's just his body language. Stevenson's performance second half is reminding me of Klitschko's performance against Tyson Fury. The champion doesn't look as eager to dig down to that next level to retain his title or titles. Stevenson needs to get into that next gear ASAP. Yeah, it reminded me of the, the Fury-Klitschko fight where Klitschko hadn't lost in almost a decade and Tyson Fury just looked like he wanted it more. You know what I mean? The challenger looked like he wanted it more. Same thing with Badu Jack. Um, in the back half of the fight overall, in its totality, it looked like Jack wanted the win more. Like he was just, he was more willing to gut something out. And I don't know what type of conditioning Stevenson was in, but... It, Maybe that was it. Maybe it's because he's 40, but it looked like Jack had more grit to it, to like, I really want to bite down and, and beat this guy. Now, this was a very interesting round because in the back half, Badu Jack kicked it up a notch and put his, his foot on the gas, but then he got hurt to the body in round 10 and Stevenson, he needed that comeback round and it makes it challenging to score is what I said, which is true. And you've seen that 
in the draw when when the fight was officially ruled a majority draw i believe it was jack can't let stevenson tattoo his body like that in round 11. i thought round 10 and then um some good body work from stevenson in round 11 made it more complex to score i said crazy round 11 stevenson started off real good but then he gassed out maybe punched himself out badu jack won the second half of that round so round 12 might be dramatic it wasn't as dramatic in round 12 as i thought it was going to be I said a knockdown will fuck over either guy in this final round, lol, because it was a very close fight. So if anybody were to get knocked down, that's going to be a lasting impression and it wouldn't have been good. I said Jack won the 12th round pretty big, especially in the last 15 seconds. Jack seemed to want it more. Hard to score. Definitely a fight of halves. Some people will have it drawish. What do you guys think? So that was my realist breakdown. I thought it was... Um, good fight it ended in a majority draw I, I was pulling for badu jack i know some people are like, oh you're a journalist you can't pull for him. i do whatever i want on my channel you you do what you want but um it was a good fight i have nothing against adana stevenson nothing against badu jack i just thought he he kind of dug down a bit better he seemed like he he wanted it a bit more in in the trenches uh stevenson has some things he might have to work out because beyond the fifth sixth round he seemed to slow he started getting hit cleaner you know what i mean a lot of questions a lot of questions about uh, what would happen in a rematch props to both stevenson he deserves credit for his heart because he didn't get knocked down or knocked out even though he was that tired so you can't really challenge his heart in that regard um i haven't watched it again i just watched the first viewing but off of that, I would say by a slight margin, I probably would have got, gave the fight to Badu Jack by a round or two. Um, but it is, it's, it's hard because Jack got off to a slow start. It was a measured approach, but it reminded me of Lamont Peterson versus Danny Garcia, where Lamont Peterson, he stayed safe for the first half of the fight. Didn't really get in any trouble against a big puncher like Danny Garcia. Same thing with Jack. But then maybe you gave up, if you give up so many rounds, that's going to make it hard to score. You know what I mean? You give up five, six rounds, possibly, or the bulk of five or six rounds, and then you get your game plan going when, when your opponent's kind of tired. Then you hurt them more than they were able to hurt you. So it just makes it harder to score. But the thing that was impressive with Badu Jack was he hurt Stevenson a lot more than it looked like Stevenson ever hurt him. Um, you could say the 10th round, but that's a body shot. I'm talking about just overall in its totality. I don't think it takes that much power to, to hit. A well-placed body shot's gonna hurt regardless. You know what I mean? So I don't think it takes uh, a whole ton of power. But the thing that impressed me is um, it looked like Jack was able to hurt Stevenson with headshots, and he's the new light heavyweight. I mean, so a guy who just moved up, it shows that this he's, he's ready for this division because that was his second fight. And I thought he did very well. Stevenson did cool in the first half. Um, kind of felt bad, like I said, for Badu Jack. Just because you worked that far and, and you got a draw, so you didn't get the title. But hopefully they do a rematch. Jack said, fight in Sweden, my adopted home in Las Vegas, or in America somewhere. He said, I came out to Canada, so you got to give him credit. Second fight, you know what I mean? Second fight, second champion. He's fighting at light heavyweight. Badu Jack, I don't know who's doing it like him in terms of... Uh, most improved boxers i'm talking about to take a career loss and be written off by people to beating former champions like lucian Butte. in my opinion he beat him uh that wasn't a draw to in my opinion he beat james de gale and that wasn't a draw um beating actually even on the scorecards anthony Durrell as a challenger beating a champion like Durrell. And then George Groves, a former champion, beating him, knocking him down, to moving up, fighting a champion in Cleverly, fighting a champion for Stevenson, to me, wasn't a draw. I thought he he edged it out. You know what I mean? And it's, it's hard. Maybe they should do like a fourth judge or some shit in boxing because you look at a fight like this, Badu Jack, the, one, the rounds he won, he won them really big. And Adonis Stevenson, in the first five rounds or whatever, he won the bulk of them. But he didn't win him as big as as Jack. You know what I mean? So it, it's kind of hard to to judge because if there's 12 rounds and let's say you you one guy won six and the other guy won six, some people would score that a draw. But if you look at the six, what happened in those six? You know what I'm saying?
And that's the thing with a kind of a 10 point system is like you could split six rounds and then people would say, oh, it's a draw. But what if one guy was hurting the other guy much more frequently in his six rounds than the other guy did in his six rounds? So a uh, good fight. Good for Showtime. Hopefully did um, good ratings, stuff like that. Let me know what you guys thought of the fight. That's my breakdown, the realest breakdown. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.